welcome back this is the new video i'm posting uh here i was working on a different project i thought maybe i should you know record the project as i do it and the progress and maybe share some new information with the viewers so we can maybe help each other and try to fix the problem here okay so here i have the 80 volt battery so most of people that may not know these are two different brands, of course, uh, Greenworks and Master Force. This is the Menard brand that they sell for the, you know, snowblower or lawnmower or weed eater or like um, air blower. So this is the battery that works in it. And of course, if you go to just them, the battery is quite expensive. This one is like $220 plus tax. Uh, this is a 4 ampere battery, uh, as you can see. And the, on this side, you can see this is a Greenworks uh, Pro, uh, it's a 2 ampere battery, it'll say somewhere, but that's a 2 ampere battery, let's see, yep, it, it does say 144 uh, watt hour, but if you do the math, 80 volt to 144, it comes down to about 2 uh, amp, so yeah, but the, the cool thing, what I'm trying to say is, these are like counterfeit, they do fit in each other, like completely fine, so this charger you can see is a Master Force, it's not a green uh, works, but I can use this battery, you know, vice versa and all that. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about buying just, you know, just to be uh, stick with this one brand. You can definitely buy a different one. And I do know that I think the Cobalt one also works. Uh, the Lowe's brand, it also works in these ones. But I have not tested that. But if you look up all these like notches and like all these like a ports for the Volt and all these like a plus C, uh, U or whatever and minus they all are same but yeah, I'll show you the problem here I have a problem in this battery and I'll show you the problem I have not fixed it uh, and I will be I kind of want to record the whole thing as I go so maybe you guys can learn with me but yeah I'm gonna show you this charge is perfect this battery is good there's a problem here so yeah I'm gonna plug this battery as you can see it's a fully charged light is solid green it's fully charged battery yeah it's it's good it's happy no problem in this one I'm going to put this aside. Now, the problem is in this battery. Uh, so, when I plug this one, you will see it start charging for a few minutes or so, or a few seconds, and then it's going to show, or I think it's going to blink red light, and I'll show you in a second here. There you go. And it's not the charger issue. It's not you're using this brand charger and this battery. That is not the problem at all. The problem is the battery itself. Now it's flashing red. So there is a problem here. So we know it's not the charger. It's the battery. Now what the problem is, we're going to check. A lot of people I saw the YouTube videos, you know, they plug two battery, the plus and minus together. And they're like, oh, this battery is dead. And they're going to charge it like, like a little bit, like jump started. And then the battery pick up the charging no but in this case the problem is different so i thought maybe you know what since i have not seen this video i should help out so yeah uh, of course i can check the voltage but i'm going to open it since it'll be easy for me to test the voltage but yeah it uses this uh security bit with a hole in the middle with this hex or whatever the star looking one with the hole in there but yeah i'm going to open this here okay screw number one Screw number two, simple as pies, so just four screws in here, all right, so literally four screws just comes out, all right, you just pop this puppy right, like that, so there you go, this your battery is out, because this is 2.5 amp, or I, I should say, sorry, 2 amp battery, there are total 20 cells, which are connected in a series, to make it total of 80 volt that's why it's 80 volt max um but yeah i already counted the cells individually so five are here five on this side 10 and two is right here to so 12 13 14 15 16 and i believe four are here so to total there are like 20 cells okay i'm gonna show you the voltage here so here's my multimeter let's turn this puppy here all right so i'm gonna put doesn't matter what wire goes where because my goal is just to check the voltage. I'm not really, you know, I don't care which one is positive or negative. But yeah, here the voltage is, you can see, 76 volt. Interesting, now it stopped. Maybe. 
not touching very well. There you go. 76 volt. So it should have 80 volts. So we know it's not a dead battery. And it, it works, by the way. I plug this thing in the blower. Everything works like perfectly fine. No issue at all. So, so yeah, we know there's no, not, no problem at all. Uh, the battery works. The problem is the charging. It doesn't go full charge. Now that's the problem. It already shows like, you know, see, if it's like, I don't mean, I don't know, 60% or 75% show right now. But it doesn't go beyond this point. Now that's the problem. It doesn't charge fully. That's why it shows the red light. So, and then here we can clearly see it does show 76 volt, but it should show 80 volt. Now that's the issue. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do here to fix the problem, we're going to balance it out. So, these are unbalanced cells. So, all the cells should be exactly same voltage, but in this case, they are not. Now, that's the problem. So, I'll show you some examples here, uh, live real examples. So, I'll just carefully move this paper here. So, I don't, you know, I can reuse it. And same on the other side. There you go. So, you just want to expose the wire like that. I mean, not uh, yeah, expose the wire and the terminals without damaging the paper or anything else. So yeah, let's see the batteries here. So just doesn't matter. I'm just testing the voltage. So anything can go anywhere pretty much. Just make sure you're touching, you know, each corner of the one cell. So here you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's 4.042. So about four volt. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna also light up here. Uh, check now. There you go, 4.02, so you can see that. Now I'm going to check a different cell, which is this. I'm just check, touching, oh, this one you can't touch, but I'm going to check, try here. There you go, you can see this one, that's the next one, 4.443. I'm going to check this third one, 4.047 or 4.073. Uh, so again, about around 4 volt. Now this side cell looks like are close to 4. I'm going to check one cell here and see the problem here. Now, if you go back, how much voltage we had? 76.8. It should be 80. So, I think the problem is these are not fully charged. I mean, for some reason, I don't know that at this point the problem is the BMS or the problem is a cell or maybe it's a one-time issue that will be fixed once you kind of balance these cells all close to the 4 volt. And that's why I brought my uh, various you know supply this dc volt so i'm going to show you how to use everything uh, but yeah so 76.8 or so right so we should have 80 so that means we are showed by 3.20 volts so and here you can clearly see this one is 3.6 so we had miss we, we can have about 0 0.40 volt right there so that means we have about uh like four or six or eight cells that are not fully charged so let's see this one there you go, 3.6. Let's see one down here, 3.6. Let's check this one, 3.628. So you can see clearly right here, what about these down there, 3.8. So see, these are a little more than 3.6, but they're still low. So we know there are quite a bit of cells. Let's check this one down here. There you go, 3.897. So very close to 4, but not really fully charged. So that's the problem I believe we have. If I fully charge these cells manually once, then when you will be using this battery, you know, so I think it's going to be discharged equally, and then this charger will be able to fully charge them from low to high. Right now, I think when it try to charge, this side cells are fully charged, but this sides are low. So the charger is like, hey, there's a problem in the battery because it's, it's you know, have, it's not, we can't charge it all the way. That's what I believe the problem is. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna test it and hopefully it'll work. So this is the uh, power supply I have. So you, of course, so I'm gonna do four volt and so you can simply press this button to change the uh, volt here. Of course, you can go whatever you wanna do, but I'm gonna do four volt and you can charge to the higher rate, but I think one amp is to be safe. Of course, there are some charges that do two or even more. These are pretty good batteries, so you can go higher, but I, you know what? Better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to do one amp. It's going to take longer, but I'm not in rush. I'll just pause the video so I can just show you the clear results. So yeah, I think I'm going to stay with four amp. Uh, I mean, four volt and one amp. And you just simply hit the out button. Now it's spitting the volt right here. All right. So you want to hit the positive to positive, negative to negative. And how do I know which one is positive, negative? 
either you can use the multimeter <coughs> or you kind of you know identify by looking at the cell directly so this corner one i mean i'll just test touch whichever to whichever there you go this is positive and negative is right so this is positive oops i should move this one here so if i touch like that there you go you can you can see 3.6 so we know this is positive and now that one on the top is negative so 3.6 all right so let's connect negative to negative to black and positive is this and there you go here you can see it basically taking the one amp power right there i'm just going to connect this thing yeah let's just kind of hang this thing in there somehow just you have to barely touch it you don't have you don't need a, like a solid connection i mean strong enough that you know it's not going to go anywhere but yeah there you go now you can clearly see the voltage 3.77 so we know it's low it should be like 4 volt <laughs> now i'm going to kind of time this thing on 1 volt so i can maybe tell you guys uh where is my phone i mean it's somewhere else but whatever right now the time is you know let's say here 4:55 p.m. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's like, you know, close to 4 volt or so. So there we have it. There we go, guys. There you go. All right. I'm quickly back. It's actually only 5 o'clock. So it's only been 5 minutes. But you can see it shows 4 volt, 1 amp. But the light down here is lit up, which means it's taking completely 1 amp as of right now. So it's not, so 4 amp is not really the right amp you are looking at right now. So 4 amp is basically what it's spitting out. But it's taking one amp right now. Like it's just, you know, the, the transfer rate of this uh, volt is one amp right now. So yeah, this is not true. It's not actually four right now, but it's taking one amp. Now what you're going to see is slowly this one amp will go, go to like 900 some milliamp, then 800, 700, 600 as it you know charges more and more. So then when it's close to, I don't know, like 100 or 50 or 40, then, you know, it's very close to fully charged. So, so yeah, I just wanted to show you if you guys are charging a similar way. So, yeah, it's basically charging very nice. Like right now, it's it's taking perfectly normal volt. But yeah, we're going to let it charge and let's see how long it takes. We might bump up the amp to 1.5 for the next one to speed up the process. But let's see how long it takes on one amp so we kind of know the approximate time. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back when uh, it's fully charged and I'll show you before I disconnect so you can kind of see the results. So, so yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm quickly back. I did notice, you know, it was still showing one amp, same thing. It's been almost 30 minutes so far. And I'm like, yeah, it's taking way longer than I was looking, you know, to spend on at least one cell. So I bump up to 1500 milliamp or 1 1.5 amp. And here you can see the numbers are going down for the ampere. It's 1.125, so a little over one uh, amp. And I can show you the real voltage here. Again, we are just doing the first cell right now, which of course taking longer. So at least you guys know it. it is a time-consuming process because you're doing one cell at a time instead of charging the entire battery pack. So yeah, you plug plug one wire here, and here you can see 3.81, 82, or 3.88. So I think originally it was 3.62 or 64. Uh, so yeah, you can see from 3.6, now we are at almost 3.9. So it did, of course, charge. It took, you know, 30 minutes or so. So yeah, we're going to let it charge until we hit like 4 volt and we're gonna jump to the next cell so yeah I'll be back all right guys I'm back it's been I would say almost an hour from the time I started so yeah it did took long time to charge from 3.6 to 4 uh, because I guess I was using a lower amperage but I'm gonna bump it to the next one but basically the process is the same uh, so what I'm gonna do now is switch the cable I mean before I switch it I mean here you can see it's still plugged in I have not done anything it's showing 4 volt but the Taking amp is like literally 56, 58 milliamp, which, which is very close to like zero. So I'm going to remove the wires and show you the voltage now. The first cell, so here you can see 3.986, which is very close to four. It's fine. It's I mean, we don't have to have exactly four, but it's very close to four. So I would say this is good enough. Maybe I can bring it close here. It's more clear to see. There you go. So it's pretty neat. Uh, 3.984 so let's check the second cell now uh, let's do this one so here you can see 3.6 uh, I mean 3.6 here you can see 3.63 4 so yes it's basically the same as before 
again let's check positive and negative it was showing the other way so I'm gonna do like that there you go 3.63 so this side is negative and this side is positive so let's charge this cell so I'm gonna set this to 4 is good and let's bump this to 1500 yep that's already everything as is so yeah once again how which one was negative and positive yep so this is negative so negative goes this side I'm just gonna latch this on the corner somewhere and positive will be going this side there you go here you can see right away it's taking 1.5 amp uh, there you go it's good enough but yeah here I'm gonna let it charge I do think it's it should take less time now um, I mean you can charge it to the higher rate but I feel you know more safe not rush about it it also the, would not damage the battery if I go in the lower amp so it's just you know keep the battery well maintained but the basically the process is same so my plan is to charge all the cells to 4 volt and then I'm gonna test this thing so I guess I don't have to show you like you know each cell as I charge but you kinda get the idea so charge like this every cell to 4 volt time consuming process but do one at a time not you know try to speed up or cut the corner or do multiple cells at a time because that can cause some issues when you of course charge multiple cell which is connected in a series and you charge multiple that can really cause issues so yeah I would recommend doing one cell at a time and be very careful about positive negative charge with the right voltage right amperage and but yeah I'm gonna share the results so so yeah next I think you're gonna see me when all the cells will be fully charged and then we will see how it goes but yeah we'll see you later all right guys I'm back so this is the second battery I'm almost done charging uh, here you can see it's almost like same as before same as the first one it's close to 50 milliamp or so so it's almost charged I'm gonna disconnect the wire and again this is the second battery I'm charging and this took you know good 40 45 minute or about an hour or so and let's check the volt again here you can see it so this is the one I charge and there you go 3.982 and the first one is again 3.79 so now I'm gonna check the full voltage if you remember originally when we charge it was around what uh, 76 point something and now because I charge two cells so let's check here you go 77.4 so you can clearly see it definitely went up on the volt so it's not fully charged because this battery is supposed to be 80 volts so it's not really fixed um, so I'm gonna I guess end this video here because this will you know maybe take me one day or so because I'm gonna charge every hour or so and there are about seven eight cells to charge so I'm gonna keep on charging every cell like this I'm gonna end this video I'm gonna maybe make like part two where I'm gonna show you the process of uh, once it shows 80 volt that's my goal to show 80 volt and all the cells should be around 4 volt and then we will charge with this battery and then we will see will it did that fix that issue or not so so yeah this is what I'm gonna keep on doing and I'll share the results with you guys so yeah keep on watching uh, if you like the video uh, please feel free to like share and subscribe if you like the content I'm making and that would also help me produce more videos that's similar to this so so that way you know if you like this video hopefully you will like more videos so yeah I'm gonna be back with part two where I will show you complete voltage of this video uh, of this um, battery I mean I'll show you the full voltage and then we'll go from there but yeah thank you for watching guys and we'll see you uh, in next video have a great day